Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys so much. Hope you guys are well and safe. Let's get right into your messages, my love. And when I picked up on your energy, I'm picking up that somebody's trying to disrupt your sleep. That you guys are having a lot of weird dreams. That you guys are astral traveling every night when you're going to sleep. And there's uh, individuals coming in your dreams, asking you questions, harassing you, um, trying to bully you. you. You could be fighting somebody in your sleep. You could be annoyed in your sleep, in your dreams. You could be arguing with somebody in your dreams, in your sleep. And then you wake up and you're just over it. You wake up, you're like, I'm tired of, of this BS already. Like, I'm tired of these mofos getting into my dreams. I'm tired of these individuals trying to uh, access my energy. And then you wake up feeling frustrated. You could have woke up today feeling really frustrated, really annoyed, really tired of the same energies trying to attack you in your sleep state, in your dreams, coming into your dreams, asking you questions, harassing you. For somebody watching, you really have to do a, a, a real deep spiritual cleansing of your home um, because I feel like there's this en energy in your home, this presence uh, that is trying to manipulate your mind, that is giving you dark thoughts and energy, that is trying to make you feel restless or like, you you know, that's making you feel like you're not safe or maybe making you feel like you're just so tired and you just keep getting back into bed or laying down, you feel depleted. Something's going on in your energy and uh, I don't like it, okay? Because I don't like it because I feel like you guys are annoyed. You guys are annoyed with individuals coming around you. Yeah, spiritually trying to bully you. These people are bullies. They're trying to bully you spiritually because you got... Uh, you got the clarity that you needed about these individuals, that you are not um, blind to what they've been doing in your energy, that you've been calling them out, that you've been fighting back spiritually, cleansing your energy, and they don't like it. They don't like the fact that you're telling the truth. There's like karmics in your energy that are pissed. They're pointing at you and they're trying to mock you or bully you because you told the truth or because you spoke your truth or because you cut them out. You started to change your life and make decisions for the better. They're all trying to gang up and bully you? I don't think so. These individuals, yeah, they want to make you feel stuck. They want you to feel confined. They don't want you to go outside. They want you to be paranoid. All right? They want you to feel like uh, giving up. Okay? Just giving up. They really want to put you behind bars. All right? They really want to put you behind bars and imprison you. And so lock, lock you up and throw away the key. But what I'm picking up on is that you released yourself from this blockage in your life, from feeling stuck and bound, from feeling trapped, from feeling isolated. And, and you know, you started to go out. You started to put yourself out there. You started to call back your power. You started to manifest something big for yourself. You started to have a major glow up. You started to feel good about yourself again. You got out of mental prison. And these karmics, that you cut off or that you're standing your ground with, they want to put you back in there. They want to put you back in a cage. They want to put you back in mental prison. For somebody watching this video, if you've been in prison before, actual prison, and you got uh, trapped in some sort of, they set you up for something, and then you got locked up, or something happened, and then you got, in, you got locked up in jail, and you got out of jail, then there's individual around you or individuals around you that you've been dealing with, that they want to set you up to go to, like, they want to set you up to put you back in jail. And that's for specific message for somebody. They trying to get you back behind those bars. Your ancestors are, your ancestors are like defeating these energies as we speak. They're trying to manipulate a situation to get into, to find something on. Like, it's like they want to find some dirt on you so bad to put you in jail. Somehow, some for some reason, they're not finding it. And then I heard, there's always something there to remind me. Always something there to remind me. Mm -mm -mm. And then I heard, and I still haven't found what I'm looking for. 
and still, so they still haven't found what they're looking for. They've been trying to get dirt on you for a while, hmm? but they still haven't found what they're looking for. Mm -mm. Wow. Somebody really doesn't want you to have a good sleep. They want you to wake up feeling depleted, frustrated, annoyed, targeted, all the above. And if you woke up feeling like this today, let's just clear the energy out right now before I get into this message. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing out the energies. Oh, let's get right into this energy reading, okay? So I have a little quick message to read to you guys from my book. All right, by your grace, okay? So you guys are being saved, are being protected, are being elevated, are being pushed forward. You guys are being coming enlightened because by your grace, you have a lot of grace, you have a lot of love, you have a lot of kindness, you're, un, you're, you know, you're unconditional or you've been unconditional with a lot of people in your life. And you experienced a lot of betrayals, a lot of people doing backhanded things to you. A lot of energies um, wanting to compete with you, wanting to sabotage your purpose, wanting to block you from your birthright, from your inheritance. Wow. By your grace, if you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your father will not forgive your sins. Matthew uh, chapter 6, verse 14 to 15. Okay, so whoever you are. And then it says, a new heart. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. John 7, verse 38. You, whoever you are, you believe in the most high. You believe in doing good and good will come to you. You believe in letting, um, not holding on to grudges and not holding on to resentment, but leaving it in God's hands. Whoever you are, you're a firm believer of this. And this is why you're so protected. This is why they can't get over on you. This is why, uh, no matter how many uh, beauty spells they do on you, you still keep looking more beautiful. You keep looking more handsome, male or female. No matter how much confusion spells they do on you, you keep on activating your gifts. You keep on getting more intuitions and downloads and messages. All right, because you, whoever you are, you believe, you believe in God and, and he is always going to be with you. All right, so gracious God, the depth of your willingness to forgive shows me how close forgiveness is to your heart. Is there much you value more than when we extend your grace to someone who needs it and when they don't deserve it? How much more do our forgiving hearts delight you? So, yeah, you've been more than forgiving. You've been more than loving. You've been more than understanding. You've been forgiving people and individuals in your life that really never didn't deserve it. Like, they really didn't deserve it, but you did it anyways. Because you are uh, very loving. You're, you're a very powerful empath, whoever you are. When I'm faced with an unforgivable offense, help me separate it from the offender. Well, hmm. While actions may not always be redeemable, remind me that people always are. Help me recall that to with, withhold my forgiveness is to jeopardize yours. So basically, if you don't forgive, God won't forgive you. Okay, that's how it works. Help me recall that to withhold my forgiveness is to jeopardize yours. All right, so you withholding your forgiveness is jeopardizing your forgiveness with the Most High. So whoever you are, you have somebody that's going and bitter. They can't forgive you for something that happened in the past. When you were weak, when you were vulnerable, when you were being uh, targeted, when you were being spiritually attacked, someone is holding you accountable for something that happened in the past involving you, but you were not in your highest vibration at the time. You were not thinking clearly at the time. You could have had PTSD at the time. You could have an addiction at the time when somebody's blaming you for something that you did in the past because they can't let go of the, they can't let go of it. 
This person is holding you accountable for something that you did back then when you were not awakened, when you were still asleep, when you were being manipulated, when you were being targeted. Somebody wants to hold on to this grudge for so long, they don't want to let it go. But this is why this individual is going through a lot of dark tower moments and this person is going through financial losses and this person is going through losing family members because this individual held on to a grudge. So if you expect God to forgive you, then you need to forgive as well. And this person doesn't get that concept. This person is too busy spewing out their darkness onto you. And when, when by your grace, I've given great way and, and when by your grace, I've given grace, grant me the incomparable pleasure of your joyful presence. Amen. So you've been, you've given people grace. You've given people forgiveness. You've given people water when they were thirsty. You've given people food when they were hungry. You've been there for a lot of people. And these individuals were not there for you when you needed them the most. These individuals were not there to protect you when something was happening in your energy, when you were being attacked. These individuals turned their backs on you and did the opposite. But you are so full of grace that you're still able to pray for these folks, that you're still able to walk away without being revengeful with these folks. But these folks are still, these people that I'm talking about that you're dealing with, they're still coming for you with their swords out of their mouth. They're still coming to for you with their evil eyes, with their dark thoughts and intentions towards you. So you need to let these people surrender this situation and give it to God and let him deal with it. And you just walk away and don't feel guilty for cutting somebody off. Because whoever you are, I feel like you feel guilty for cutting somebody off. Or you cut somebody off and then you deal with them again because you feel guilty, you feel bad, you feel responsible for this person, or you feel obligated. You don't have to be obligated for anything or anybody but yourself and your purpose and your path and, and, and the most high God. Like Seriously, you guys are not responsible for anybody else's actions. Somebody around you is very, like, low vibrational. This person is stubborn. They're very inconsistent. They make excuses for everything. They don't take accountability for anything. And then when you try to give them advice, they look at you like you're the bad guy. So this is the person that's resisting this change and that's blocking you. This person is blocking your light. This person is taking from your energy. So pick and choose who you want to give to. Stop giving to people uh, freely. When you're not helping this person, like, all right, so somebody here is used to taking or getting things handed to them, but you're going to enable somebody. You can't do that anymore. You got to let this person learn a hard lesson, whoever they are. This could be someone you care about and love, but they need to learn a hard lesson, all right? Because, like, pull back your feelings and, and see something from a different perspective. That somebody here is a manipulative individual. They're a dark empath, Virgo energy. They like to manipulate. They like to play victim. They like to take. They like to uh, get things done their way. Uh-uh. Nope. This is not it. The wands in the reverse. This is not it. This is not it. This person is going to take your energy. They're going to block your light. They're going to block your path. They're going to block your, your, your work. They're going to block everything. Okay? So whoever this person is that's in your energy, you need to remove them. And if they're not in your life, but they're in your energy, you need to do cord cutting meditations. You need to sage yourself. You need to remove this person's energy from you, your energy, and your space, and your aura. If you were sleeping with this individual, stop sleeping with them. This person has been trying to attach some sort of dark entity to your sacral chakra. Male or female, okay? Stop dealing with this person. This person is like... This person is the person that is coming to your life to try to bring you some sort of blockages and delays, weighing their burdens on you. This person is like wanting you to feel isolated and lonely. This person wants you to feel distracted and lose your way. Somebody's trying to, I'm telling you right now, whoever you are, somebody's trying to make you lose your way. Somebody wants to dim your light. Somebody wants you to devolve. Somebody wants to like slow you down, right? Block you completely. Hmm. But you're sitting here as the emperor. Yeah, you're sitting here as the emperor. I heard Sheila. Sherry. Shannon. Javon, Trayvon, Javon, Damien, Damaris. I heard Roy. I heard Pedro. Eureka. I heard Destiny, Thomas or Thomasina, Antonia, Antonio, 
Antoine. I heard Oscar, Robert. And then I heard Perry. So somebody's name could be Perry or their last name. King of Pentacles. So this is who you are. You're going to be connecting with or you're going to be collaborating. So it's the Emperor and a King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is like two individuals with, with like business mindsets okay with uh ideas so somebody's gonna come towards you with a enter with a proposition with an offer for a collaboration for a business partnership all right for a business venture and you have a lot of respect okay because you got respect for yourself you you transformed your life you reinvented yourself so you have respect for yourself and others others have respect for you Leadership, stability, structure. You have a lot of protection around you. This could be a father figure. This could be a father figure that wanted to control things in your life, that wanted to control the outcome of your situation. And now this father figure is realizing that you're the boss, that you're the emperor, male or female, that you're a fearless warrior. They see you as being disciplined. They see that you're generous. They see that you're successful. They see that you're, you're in control of your own life and that you have uh, manifested some sort of comfort for yourself. Hmm. So the Aries is connecting with a king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, wealthy man or female. Okay, and this emperor could be a father figure, somebody that's an elder in your life, that's really remorseful or regretful. For casting you out of the family or for uh, allowing something to happen or for not being there to protect you. But this person sees you as a fearless leader. This person wants to mend the connection with you. Hmm. This could just be you sitting in your power, sitting on your throne, crowning yourself. Because somebody's will of fortune is in reverse. Somebody's having bad luck. Somebody has no control of the way things are going. Somebody was resisting change. They were not trying to change. They were not trying to let something go. But you, you were sitting here breaking cycles of a negative stage in your life. You broke a cycle. And now this person is realizing that they forfeited their own blessings by uh, not being there for you. All right? Not protecting you. By going against you. By being negative in your life. They're having bad luck. They have no control of this either. Because you're very highly intuitive. Mm. Somebody could even be in bad health as well. And then I heard a train. So somebody could be going to the train station. Somebody could live near a train station. Somebody lives near a train and you could hear the train. And then I heard the owl hooting. So somebody here, you could be hearing the owl. The owl is giving you a message to pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to who's around you when you hear the owl. Because uh, these individuals think they're, they're getting away with sabotaging your blessing. They think they're getting away with confusing you, manipulating you to, to quit. Somebody wants you to quit your job. Somebody wants you to be so tired you can't get out of bed. Or somebody wants you to lose something here. They're trying to uh, somehow figure out how to make you lose something here. But all you're doing is working hard. You're passionate. Working hard. Mastering something. Ex expressing your skills and talents, developing new skills and talents. Yeah, you have so much potential. But now this individual is in the, in the opposite energy of you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Because they're too busy watching you having good news. Celebrate or you have a reason to celebrate. You're about to have some good news. I heard Julia or Julius. Julie. Something could be going on in July. There's a lot of karmic endings happening right now as we speak in a lot of our lives. A lot of karmic endings for new beginnings. But somehow, this emperor could be another Aries, this king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somehow, they are involved in making a decision here. So, they're making a decision, or this is you, you made a decision to invest and this person now wants to invest in you and in your business or whatever you got going on and then you get the three of cups then you get to uh celebrate victory and success good fortune yeah 
because somebody here was trying to ruin uh, and delay your investments. They wanted to block your investments. They wanted to lose you to lose your money. But instead, this person's getting fired. And if you got fired, that was if you got fired, that was orchestrated. But if you got fired, the divine allowed that had to happen. The divine allowed this to happen so you can get into your power, so you can become your own boss, so you can become a leader. All right, because you're not a, you're not following the leader. You're a leader. Somebody here was playing follow the leader, and they got themselves stuck in a dark timeline. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You can have that in your chart. You're dealing with one. All right, the Leo energy. Yeah, somebody has to heal their inner child because this person is blaming you for everything that happened in their life, but they're not taking the time to reflect. This person could have, could have children and they're neglecting their children because they're scorned and bitter because they just keep watching everything you do because they keep blaming everything on you. They don't want to take accountability, so this person's never going to make it. Like, seriously. It's annoying. Somebody could be losing their home and getting evicted. Somebody might come to you and say they're homeless and they need your help, but you're not obligated to help this person because this person is the one that attacked you. This person was involved with attacking you, and when you lost your home, when you were homeless, or when you were in jail, or when you had a situation happen, a tower moment, when you were in bad health, and when you needed them, they were never there. They never showed up, male or female. All right? Take the message that resonates, leave the rest. All right? Judgment is upon them judgment so you got to get out of the way because this person's experiencing karma and if you try to intervene in their karma you're going to get wrapped up in it you're going to start feeling the remnants of their energy so you cannot get wrapped up in somebody's karma you tried so many times to help this person you took them back more than once you gave them your energy you gave them your time you gave them your forgiveness and they kept doing the same thing every time some people don't deserve your energy your forgiveness and all your time but you can forgive them but you don't have to be there to pick them up because remember, if they don't learn a hard lesson, they're never gonna they're never gonna get it. They're never gonna get humbled. This person's being humbled, and you need to move to the side and let this happen because God is in control. All right, the King of Cups in reverse is under judgment. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio was dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and they were working against you. Okay, and now the Ten of Swords is that the ultimate betrayal is that. You know, Poison Ivy and Devo, they're going against each other right now. So Poison Ivy and Devo are setting each other up. And you just need to move out the way a little bit. Because they can't get into your energy. They can't do anything. And then I heard this. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I don't know who sings these songs. Just let me know in the comments. But I heard that again. And they still haven't found what they're looking for. They still haven't gotten gotten you incriminated. They still can't uh, catch you slipping. They still can't find what they're looking for when it comes to you because they're looking for a reason or a way to get you locked up, to bring you down, to tear you up in pieces and, and make you look bad. they doing background checks. They're doing everything. But they still haven't found what they're looking for. Wow. Yes, they're going to, they're, somebody here is going to jail. Somebody here is doing the most. Somebody here has issues with the justice system because they started some sort of investigation onto you and they still haven't found what they're looking for and they're never going to find it because this person lied on you, falsified documents, accusations and everything. And, and you know what? You're getting karmic justice. This person's about to have to answer to the justice system. All right. They wasted a lot of money. They wasted so much money trying to investigate you, trying to get you caught up, digging in, into your past, digging into your uh, Akashic records. They try to do that too. And look where they're at now. Look where they're at. They're, at the they're, they're, they're here at the Five of Cups. They're wondering why everything's going down the drain. They're wondering why nothing is working out for them. They need to surrender. They need to leave you alone. They need to go to the Most High and stop working for the devil because that's who they're working for. Mm-mm-mm. Holding on to your energy didn't pay off. I'm telling you right now, holding on to your money, your energy, your time, or whatever they were doing is really not paying off. You are protected, Earth Angel, all right? The Virgo in the reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody here got $10,000 in your name or more. They took a loan, a PPP loan, or they did something with your information to get this loan, for uh, to get this $10,000 by tomorrow. And look, this person's going to jail. This person's going to have to pay all this money back that they, they, they got in your name, and they're going to have to compensate you more. And this person's going to beg you to not go to court because this person knew what they did. And they, when, you, when this person took this money from you by using your information or something like that, I don't know who this message is for, but this is for somebody watching. The $10,000 that this karmic stole and used your information to get, 
when this was going on, you could have been helping this person around that time and you noticed that they got a lot of money and you were wondering where they got the money from. This is how they got it. All right, but when you this person was coming around you with a fake smile, pretending that they were looking out for you, that was your money. They, they used your information to get that money they were so-called helping you out with. And I don't know who this is going to resonate with, but it's going to resonate with somebody. The chariot is moving forward, cancer energy. Blockages are removed in your life, so keep moving forward. Don't look back. All right, and then I heard Jack. Somebody's name could be Jack. Somebody could be drinking Jack Daniels. Some of your ancestors need you to give them some liquor on their altar. That's what I heard too. Okay, this is your message. I hope this helped. If you're interested in a personal, reach out to me. If you're interested in crown chakra protection spray or be gone, reach out to me. Thank you so much for your love, for your donations, for your kindness, for your beautiful comments. Till the next time, my loves. Namaste.